Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to more Honkai Star Rail, where today we are going oh. to be tackling the 1.6 stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, Hurt is texting us. I hope you guys are ready for this. I'm excited to see what happens. Who's reading this? Uh, you usually read her. Okay, do you want me to read her? Okay, here we go. Here's some good news. Rune May is at the space station. Who? <laughs> The Genius Society's number 81, Rune May. I called her and Skrulem here to talk about some important matters. Come back when you're free and introduce yourself to her. That way she knows who the person- oh, wait, who's the person that's been testing the simulated universe? Remember to show Rune May some respect. You don't usually get many chances to meet her. Oh boy. Okay. No pressure! Nope. <gasps> you get a cute icon! That's amazing. That's cute. I love it. I'm ready. 110 stellar jade for completing it, too. It is technically optional, even though it's still canon. Ron May. A name that's both new Ron May? and familiar. I thought it was Rune. Ron. Also, we know her? Why? I don't know. So, hmm. The plot thickens. Yeah. I thought member four, Polka Kakamond, had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, hmm? look who's here. Polka Kakamon? Kakamon, we've heard that name before. I don't remember where though. But they got rid of most of the society's members? What do you What do you mean? Uh, I don't know. You're back. <laughs> it's quite a crowd here today. Of course, this is a summit between three geniuses. Mm. It's a special time. All departments are preparing to welcome distinguished guests from the Genius Society. Uh-huh. Who came up with the name? Madame Ron May doesn't like fanfare and probably wouldn't appreciate a crowd to welcome her, so I asked the researchers to keep things simple. Wait, is it Ron May? Is it? Uh, it's what their voice director is saying. Or voice coach or whatever. I took her to see the portraits of the Society members a few days ago. I wanted to have the researchers make one for her as well, but she declined the offer. Hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. As long as she's happy. I heard Miss Ron May likes snacks and pastries, so I asked the researchers to prepare some traditional desserts from the blue. From the All blue? All of them seem to tickle her fancy. Well, nice. Uh... Are they a great person? Well, that's like asking, is Herda a great person? <laughs> the answer is obvious. I was talking about like morally here, but you know, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Miss Ronde is the very image of a scholar. I heard she once took a little vacation on a desert planet. By the time she left, she'd miraculously created a boom in the local ecology. Oh, cool. She just wanted somewhere uninhabited to experiment with her life spiral system. Ron May is certainly very talented, but she hardly interacts with anyone. She lives like a hermit. Oh, Pity. so hmm. it wasn't just a DNA strand. It's, she's actually like, she has a system called the life spiral system. Okay. I'm excited. I'm sure that's very ethical. Anyway, what more needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herda's research partner, hmm? Hurry up and head out. Huh? See if you can find her. Uh, where is Rune May right now? I'm not sure, but she doesn't seem to get around much. She spends most of her time between the master control zone and the railway platform. Maybe you can start your search there. Sure. That's really interesting. I originally thought that Ron May was just on the Herta space station, but no. The reason we haven't met her yet is because she's visiting now. Okay. Invited. Spill. What is- Looks what? like we're in for some juicy news. What? Oh. What? Between what? You Already Know Me and Rich Know It. Yeah. yeah. Got the deets? Oh wait, that's right. I forgot about this group chat. This is uh, one of the side quests from the uh, space station. Yeah, no, I remember that, but why or what is happening right now? Because Star Rail forgets nothing. Every little side joke and Easter egg they have are all relevant. <coughs> God bless you. Thank you. She's already here. 
Uh, R- Ron Ming's already here? Yeah. Getting a little slow with your gossip. Oh! Ooh, brutal! What the heck? Really are something, but we're still preparing for this welcome ceremony. Ron May doesn't appreciate it. Heard she's a loner, even among the geniuses. So, all of our work was for nothing? Why don't you, uh, why didn't you give the heads up ahead of time? Her does also turn a blind eye to what she does. Hey, we just found out ourselves! That's the big shot special treatment. What do you mean? Stop working hard. <laughs> <laughs> I almost want to click that. You could just tell them off for working too much? Yeah, what? It's okay. Other big shots will show up sooner or later. <coughs> hmm, I'll be waiting then. Apparently, Miss Ron May, these personalities and all that great. Word? Is there ever a genius who's normal? Skrillum seems pretty chill. He does. He does that. seem chill. Skrillum is the cool one. Someday we'll meet the real Herta. Ooh, nice quest icon. I can only assume that Herta will be a five star when we get the actual version of her. Mm hmm. Anyway, what more needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herta's research partner, hmm? Hurry up and head out! Huh? See if you can find her. Okay, you're just repeating dialogue, but what about you? Miss Ronne is the very uh, image Okay, of also repeating dialogue. Okay. Do Where? We? Oh, by the boss. The teleport. Oh, yeah, by the, the train. Yeah. That would make sense if she's at the dock. Most important people are. For some reason. There's someone next to the railway platform. And could she be... Wait, hold on. It's, it's bothering me. Where is... Oh, wait, no, not that. Uh... There. Oh, Battle Pass? It's just telling you, you oh, got new things. Oh, new things. I thought we had one redeemable. Nah. I don't... Oh, there she is! Cutscene! Cutscene! Do you want to get back? <laughs> Hi? Um... Pardon you? Most people say hello first. <laughs> Did we just poke her back? She also had crumbs. Hello. I hope I didn't startle you. Yeah, you kind of did. This is a work habit of mine. Using touch to open my senses and letting the details of your biological existence flood into my brain helps me understand your construction as a living organism. Right! You can also say hello. Get to know someone first, maybe. I don't know. For magical touch, Daniel. Such is the basis of deconstruction and reconstruction. Do not be concerned. You are very healthy. In fact, impeccably so. A perfect experimental specimen. I like perfect experimental specimens. We you finally... Of, you got a bit of cake on the corner of your mouth. <laughs> I cannot click this. Okay, do it, do it. Oh, really? Yep. I actually don't see it. It was in the cutscene. Ah. I expect the views here had me lost in thought. I was expecting a funnier response to that. I don't think she cares. I don't usually go in and out of the space station and only discovered today that it was blessed with such calm, open views. It is a wonderful fit for the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossoms, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. What does a lotus even taste like? I I don't know. I kind of want to find really out have, now. We don't exactly have that here in the uh, West. I would love... Or at least in the United States. I, I would love to find a place that sells lotuses. Or authentic ones. Authentic, like, Not like edible lotus. Ah, uh, man. Okay, American I, factory flavor number five. So, I, I, what? Lot can you, can you just find a lotus and eat it? Like, can you just That's find- That's probably not, like, the greatest idea. <laughs> yeah, just, like, I'm grab just, a I'm just it thinking and, out loud here. Like, mm, can I find a lotus and be like, mm, mm. May not be healthy for you to do that either. Come here. Look. The blue planet is directly below us. It is so full of life. This dessert is very delicious. Here, take half. Okay. I can tell your mind is also a spiral. 
Take a bite. Do it. Why do I feel like it's spiked with something? Do it. I feel like eat the cake. But I feel like she has eat something. the cake. I feel like it's bad for us. Do it. Uh, fine. Delicious desserts remind people of how flowers look when they bloom. Ingest what? this dessert one bite at a time, and the sweetness will linger in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hope you like it too. Thanks. Hope it's not fiddle with the drugs. We're about to find out. So, what do you think? I can certainly prepare more for you. It's become somewhat of a tradition to bring strawberry pastries when I visit Stephen Lloyd. His attendance seems quite dependent on them. Good choice. Hmm. An outstanding dessert. Ten grams of cubed sugar, one dried and salt-preserved plum blossom. Baking and cooking are the same as nurturing a universe. The heat must be controlled, planning must be meticulous, and one must not panic. No matter what happens. Okay, True enough, I crazy, guess. yeah, crazy sayings aside, Baking is it, cooking is just science. It really cooking is. Literally, is a science. It, it really is. If, if you're just like, man, this reminds me of chemistry class. It, there's, yeah, there, yeah, you're kind of act, yeah, you're literally cooking. You're literally cooking. Unfortunately, there are still too many people in the space station. The clamor is not fitting for desserts. By the way. Yeah. Do you remember what my research is about? So you're you seem to know us. It's about biology. Wait, can we ask her about us? Like, Callus? Like, what about us? Maybe she's the one that made our body. I don't know. But then there's two of us, so I don't know. Only that it's about biology. I don't know. No. My research area is short stories about toilets. What? Ah, crap. It was spiked with the drugs. I am so glad we ate the cake. I am so very glad. Why the freak did we say that, though? I don't know. <sighs> See, this is why you don't eat things from mysterious people. Yeah, but this for, is what I'm saying. But for content, this is hilarious. What's going on? What, what am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I see. What a cute hobby. No, no, no. But remember. The next time something like this happens, it's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. If not, you'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. Thanks. You're not making any sense. And I'm saying that. I don't Let's make Let's try sense. again. Now, what else would you like to ask? Uh, what did you do to me? What did you feed me? There you go. Ask, yeah, ask the bottom one. What did you feed the me? The dessert was tasty. I would like more. <laughs> <laughs> you stinky child. Why did I treat him like a cat? Why can't I say what I want to say? <laughs> you have quite the appetite. All right. I'll give you the recipe. Come and have a walk with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post-dessert activity. No, I'm fine. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping Hi, calm chops. here. Just Wait, like Chucky Chops! Land I've entered to in the yeah, past. he's here. Why are you here? Can you imagine a completely lifeless world? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on something there, more important. You can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Following its celestial trajectory, the Great Teal Star illuminates an endless sea <laughs> of white across both the sky and land. What? My mother and I navigated calm glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world, and encountered many bizarre phenomena. Mm -hmm. It was like finding the single correct piece in a mountain mm -hmm. of jigsaw pieces. Big. And the process yeah. was convoluted and unimaginably difficult. But it was touching and enthralling as well. From then on, whenever I come across a familiar scene, I find myself pausing to take it all in. Uh-huh. <coughs> anyway. Chucky Chops, my baby boy! Oink, oink, oink. 
Ever since you decided to keep Chunky Chops, <coughs> this trotter's te uh, temperament has become even more unrestricted. It roams as it pleases between the space station and the express, as if specifically following your footsteps. Oink, 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 oink. Although it's just a bunch of data, Chunky Chops really does seem fond of you. Perhaps it even dreams of electric sheep. Okay. Speak. The trotter tilts its head as if waiting for you to speak. We're friends forever. We're friends forever. Oink, oink, oink. The trotter seems touched by your affection. It seems very affectionate and obedient. See, this is why Chunky Chops is the best. Oink, 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 oink. The trotter does not like this name at all. It is not a pig. Oh, sorry. Are I'm trying to reason with the pig. I guess, I don't know. When, wait, when's if I say everything? Oink, 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 oink. I know, I didn't mean it. Trotter does not want to obey this order. Life always finds a way. What did you tell him? I told him to get back into the coin. You jerk! Charge! Oink, oink, oink. Attack that evil woman. The trotter does not listen to your command. Maybe it could, wait, it could not fit a target. Or, or maybe it's just showing you some attitude. <laughs> okay. Love you, Chunky. If you loved him, you wouldn't have threatened to put him back in the coin. I was interested to see what would happen. If I said everything. Okay, anyway, back to the brainwashing. Oh, you're gonna make me slowly walk, even though I've already heard everything you had to say, huh? Apparently. Oh, that's rude. Am I? Nope, still locked in being slow. Okay. Walk onward, Daniel. I'll just look at Chunky. Look at him. Look at him fade into the background. Look at him as he poses upon the planetary stage. It's beautiful. No, wait, no, no! He's gone. Darn it. Now I'm stuck with you. Oh, well, uh, bye. What just happened? I broke free. How, how did you break free? She's gonna wait for you. Yep, you gotta, you gotta get the NPC. <sighs> Drag him! Ah! My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please. Don't be on edge. I bear no ill will. Maybe you shouldn't have dragged us! I have interfered with your linguistic faculties. Such an act would be impolite. I merely made a minor adjustment. Uh, that's still impolite. A few days ago, I made my interest in you known to Herta. My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on our interactions within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. No, I'm good. I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues, and I despise matters that escape my control. Ah. Okay. So you drug us to make us obedient. I don't like you. Therefore, I added anti-truth serum to this dessert. It will not harm you. However, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. I really don't like you. Whoa! Treat it as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. Wow! I also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. I will fulfill your every wish. How drastically different is this quest if you don't eat the cake? I wonder if you get like two versions of this quest. This is amazing. I'm still upset. I'm still upset. You won't then be. Then I'll grant you even greater rewards. <sighs> when I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention of member number 29 circle. I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. Uh-huh. A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. Uh-huh. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number eight of the Genius Society. That cute little squishy babies are geniuses? Apparently. Yeah, okay. I don't know where it went wrong. They possess their own sentience, Ow. but are nowhere near geniuses. 
Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away and scattered all over the space station. And now you want me to pick them all up? I do not wish for Herta or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore, I'm hoping you can assist in recovering these little life forms. You know, you can try trusting us. I do trust you. No, you don't. You drugged us. Why don't you want them to know? This has nothing to do with them. Besides, the more people involved, the more problems there will be. That is also wrong. This is their space station. One of them owns it. One of them runs it. I, I, I think that's in their prerogative. The researchers are still treating these entities as visitors. I want to steer clear of making my presence known, so as not to cause undue disturbances. You're the, you're the reason this even happened. You should take responsibility for that. I entrust this to you. Once the little life forms are collected, simply find a proper place for them. The researchers in the Department of Ecology should know about this and provide you with suitable advice. Uh huh. You know, I thought we learned our lesson with the pellet. <laughs> ah! I'm never eating anything anyone ever offers us ever again. Okay, I'm gonna wait for 2.0 to come out and then Firefly offers you something. Hey, Firefly doesn't all do it. Uh -huh. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like the no man's land I ventured to in the past. Very interesting. Did you research there? Yes. My mother and I once spent 11 long polar nights there. Interesting. I don't like you. But where to? Uh, it looks like over by Herta's office? Over there. <laughs> right over there, man. But Herta, what are you doing over in this corner? Uh, she's got her puppets all over this place. Oh. Yeah, no, it's just a puppet. Oh! Was that us finding all the puppets? I don't know. I thought we did find all of them. Maybe not. Apparently. That no, was that was the last one. one! Okay! Hey! Completion. Apparently, we had not found them all. Now we have. Now we have! Back to the quest. That's gonna probably take you into the office, so you just have to pop out. Boop. It's the closest thing still. One's hexachromatic position is always in flux. Flying is parallel. Hey. Oh. I thought it was rocky for a sec. A place where the space station stores dangerous experimental results? Yep. Why would anyone want to know that? Wait, did someone send you here to try to get things out of me? No, you don't. <laughs> you don't recognize us. I'm not doing any private business on the space station. I have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places. And I certainly haven't sold any old junk rare treasures or discarded curios or anything like that. Well, now you're sounding suspicious. I didn't even ask. <laughs> I'm not hiding anything at all. You're the sneaky one. What do you want? Your knees. I don't know. <laughs> I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. I heard there's some problems in the space station, or, uh, oh, well, if we say the bottom one, we, we won't actually say that, because we're, uh, all brain We're all right drugged now. right now. Yeah, so, probably the top thing. Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts, if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now, out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. If you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll understand. Well, that was easy. Oh, it's probably the little critters. We're gonna find all the little animals in the storage. Yep, all the little babies. You, gotta, you do not want to fight me, you sentient ball. Sentient ball. Here we go, so babies! People. Never mind. And this seems to be the place. Not babies. Optional, try to create life. What? What? How do you try to create life? Ask around for information? What do you mean optional? Try to create life. What how, is, how does one do that? Ron May, member 81 of the Genius Society. A resounding name in science and the veritable epitome of life form cultivation. Researchers here have heard so much about her for so long. 
But once she arrived on the space station, she just took over everything. And what did Madame Hurt to do? Absolutely nothing. He's spoiling her. Took over everything? Do okay. that one, bottom one. Yes, she's treating this place like her backyard. She's leaving her research notes all over the floor. <laughs> oh, that is annoying. The end result? Everyone's obsessed with getting their hands on them. Yeah. I can see that. So, talk to everyone? What, what is the disturbance? I want to do all the optional stuff first. So, I, what are we supposed to not click? I don't know. There's... Investigate? The is thing? that the cause of the disturbance? I don't, I, know. I don't know. Talk to the person. Ron May likes to listen to the space station radio during her research. Ah, some of us younger researchers are her super fans. We're always scanning different frequencies to find out what her tastes are. Do you know her favorite tunes by any chance? <laughs> I really like this. Ah, uh, she likes listening to new style opera? What is oh, that? Yeah. No idea. I just listen to comedy skits. <laughs> I'm gonna pay her back. So, I really can't say anything about her. As expected. You look like you belong in a comedy skit yourself. Ow, girl, what? Whoa, mm -hmm. what? What? <laughs> uh... No. Molten cheese tart is nah. the best. Its outlook is infectious. It's Closing the game. Mood has Do you want to? You can. We can try it. There are so many people. Molten cheese tart is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Its positive mood has influenced us all. Too bad. So we can't. We can't interact with the other stuff. Dang. Man, I really wish they indicated what it was. <laughs> What was the right thing to do? I, I didn't know, so... It said, oh, talk to the researchers. Ah, too bad. Apparently, the group of researchers may, in the back is may, the one. Maybe we'll still have a chance to do the optional stuff when we're done talking to these guys. Probably not. What's our slogan again? One, stop complaining, change your attitude, and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the flow of negative energy. You know it. I don't know what that means, but you know it. You're talking about one of the little goobers, aren't you? Two, energize yourself. Increase your capacity for action and walk on the path of a molten cheese tart's absolute conviction. Our creed, molten cheese tart is the best. Um, who? Oh, praise be. You don't know? Molten cheese tart is Madame Ron May's top fan. This is how it preaches. Those who offer their love are expressing admiration and affection for Miss Ron May. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, what about Screwlem or Steven's followers? Oh, let me tell you something. Mr. Screwlem's followers are all very logical, but they're just awaiting the arrival of the mechanical aristocracy. So what? you guys are just a bunch of super fans, huh? <laughs> Since you're so interested, I'll tell you how to secure an audience with the honorable molten cheese tart. You'll uh -huh. need to work hard to get there. I, you know, I'm suddenly feeling a little motivated not to. I don't know you about you, Dale. I want to meet the cheese tart. Wherever Madame Ron May has been, what? if you're sincere enough, the honorable molten cheese tart will show itself. What? I actually don't like her. You don't, I really don't want. Oh good, we still can. There you go. Let me create life. Hey, guess what I got my hands on? Word in the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ron May's life cultivation formula. Oh, I, we're not educated enough for this. Are you gonna um, actually me? It says 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of Starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor for Madame Yu Ting Tu. Rumor has it that it once created a talking chair. Not a particularly intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? That's really dark. <sighs> yep. Let's give it a shot, shall we? First things first, we need to pick up the ingredients. A constantly burning passion. 
confidence that net that came out of nowhere, or courage to drink two bottles of Capacule in one go. I don't know if I said that right. I think it's fine. Um, what do you think? Constantly burning passion? Confidence that came out of nowhere? Or uh, the courage to drink two bottles of that? Do the top one. Hmm. We need to add some other good stuff in. <laughs> but don't go overboard. I will. IQ, IQ, or EQ, beauty. or beauty. Make it beautiful, but stupid. <laughs> yeah, sure, if you want to. No, make it smart. Smart? Okay. Mm. And now we mix them together. <laughs> oh, just two Wait. ingredients? It says on the recipe, Ron May makes different expressions when nurturing life. What? Uh... I don't know. Uh what? I, I don't know. Uh, suppress emotions or expressionless? What do you think? Suppress, I guess. Suppress. Yikes. Take a look at what you just cultivated. What did we make? Oh! A sesame paste. We Wait. made one. Sesame? Sesame. Sesame? It depends in what language that is in. Ah, uh, click it. Hey. It's so jiggly. Yep. You are ours now. I love it. That's just there. Okay. It's a good day. I heard Madame Ronme is very picky when it comes to snacks. Uh, do you know what her favorites are? Cheese tart? I don't know. I don't know. What am I going to say? I don't know about her, but I love fermented herring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. So, I really can't say anything about her. Yep. Did I ask about your favorites? Also, that's disgusting. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to hit her with a bat when I see her again. Oh. Leave Ron May alone, Daniel. Please spray graffiti to targets in accordance with the different requirements. What? Graffiti stuff? This is the uh, Silver Wolf things. Mm. Remember they were talking about how this was being added? Oh, yeah. Switch to graffiti and then use the spray on the spray. Okay, so just spritz it? Boom. Oh, oh, Sorry. down here. Rip. Trash it. Clear it all. So just. There you go. Why on the floor? Anymore? Nope. Stellar Jade. Cool. I don't know why we put it on the floor, but sure. What? How many do you want? Oh, you want I, me to put eight? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't. And then, whoa. And then I don't think you actually have to do eight. You got it. Boom. Wow. Symmetry. Did you look at that? Yeah, I think you only needed to do one. That's cool, though. Why is it telling me that I need to still do something here? Perform a mysterious summoning ritual, excuse me? Yeah, remember we're getting that. Cheese tart? Cheese tart. What the what? Uh, no. No. Uh, apparently I just gotta keep spraying. All really? Right. It's the only spot in here. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey. Hello, whoa. Sorry, it's not locked in. Um, note that down. We went on a wild ride. Oh my goodness. I love the fact that fucking drag. Bam. Yeah, do the opposite now. Yeah. Bam. There you and go. And then. Boom. Uh, no, you gotta be a little. Man, it doesn't matter anyway. Do it. Do it. Bam. Yes! That was enough. Was it? Oh! Hi! Hey, little fella. Mine's better. Um, so this is the little life form Ron May made? <laughs> what? Why do the subtitles it's meowing, say wolf? but it's wolfing. What? Okay. 
I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <gasps> you good, bro? What are you frozen in place for? Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. That's okay. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia beacon. Way, hey, oh, what is you that? put that down. Wakaka, I'm a genius. A genius among geniuses. What? Wa Wakaka? Wakaka, what does that mean? It actually made my voice. Immediately deactivate the specific synthesis beacon. That was way too risky. Huh? Why? What was risky? It's not really a cheese tart. It's more of a dumpling. Or s oh, yeah. Molten cheese tart says Madame Ronme has finally recognized my ingenuity. Molten Cheese Tot says, does Madame Ron May recognize me as a masterpiece? Can't, I can't answer that. <laughs> Molten Cheese Tot says, Madame Ron May still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic Molten Cheese Tot. Very enthusiastic. <laughs> mm, at least they're cute. There's a kind of attachment reserved for the creator. To the world, you are but one person. But to me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madame Ronme. I'm so sorry. Hey, you! Yes, you! Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? You should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of gray bean paste, would we? Is there- what? Is there more? There's no way she would like you! It won't- it, I don't think you'll be able to say it, but you can try if you really want to. I'm here to deflate What is green- gray- bag. gray bean paste? I assume it's like the, uh, orange one we made. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say it. Do it. Crush its little hopes and dreams. Try. You heartless dessert. I almost forgot. I can't say anything about Ron May. You! Shh! Quiet! Oh, the honorable molten cheese tart may have a crispy exterior, but deep down inside, it's incredibly sensitive and delicate. Uh huh. It's working so hard just to get Madame Ron May's attention. You see, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has always been fighting against gray bean paste in terms of flavor. The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart is a firm believer that people's lives need to be optimistic. Uh-huh. They both hope to receive Madame <clears throat> Ronme's recognition and have been working so hard. Oh, they don't- she doesn't care about them. How did she make desserts into life forms? You need to call it the honorable molten cheese tart. I am, I'm so literally sorry. about gonna eat it, bro. Don't Wait. test me. <laughs> okay, great mighty cheese tart. How are you made? Mm, it's genuinely puzzling. Despite molten cheese tart's remarkable qualities, why hasn't Madame Ron May acknowledged it? It's clear that it yearns for her love. She may eat it. Kind of love, though. Love from the creator to a creation? Familiar love? Doesn't sound right. Romantic love? Definitely not. There's actually a word for that. There's a lot of words for different types of love. There's a lot of different kinds of love. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. I mean, it's complicated, but not that complicated. Remember, as long as love is your compass, you're on the right track. And in the wise words of the Honorable Molten your Cheese Tart, that's where I'm recognizing love you. Love must be shouted from the rooftops. Did you just now catch on that that's I don't know why, just VA. the way he said that. Yeah, no, this is so clearly Sampo's VA. Can I talk alone with the Molten Cheese Tart? That, that depends if the Honorable Tart agrees to it. <laughs> Oh, the honorable molten cheese tart has agreed. Yo, dude, the cheese tart needs to meet wisdom, dog. Be like, rah, 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 rah. Mm -hmm. 
and get over the way. Oh? You can throw these little monsters in here. You want me to throw them in the toilet? What? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> this is a one-way passage with the other end connected to the storage zone. It's extremely safe. Sure. Sure, why do I feel like they're going into a blunder? Anyway, see you in my pa most favorite creation. It's so cute. Very cute. Jeez, little dude. That rude. Little ball was trying to snipe us. You can't put it in a doll. Why? It's too big. Purring. Oh, well, you know, squeeze it. It opens its innocent eyes wide. You know. Wait, you now have to explain to it that it has. It has to be done in order to send it back to Rune or Ron May's side. Confess! Do you like molten cheese tarts? What? <laughs> I didn't want to do this. It seems to believe that this is a flavor that can bring happiness. I'm sorry. It seems resentful for being an unqualified life form. It's pretty messed up. It seems eager to achieve great things. It wants to fully embrace its own philosophy and it is inviting you to join in. You have to be firm, believing this is the best place for it. Tenderly. Do it, tenderly. Ron May's little life form was ruthlessly flushed down the john. It will be safely transported to the storage zone now. And there she is. Dasha, how is your progress? Sorry to interrupt. Come back first. An emergency's come up that requires your help. I don't care. I will do it anyway. Come on, Daniel. Be nicer to her. Even be if you nicer. Don't, I don't even like Even if you don't like people, you should still be nice and polite. Not the people that drug you, man. Okay. One, it's fiction, so settle down and everything. And then two, she seems to have the best intentions. You don't drug people. You kind of, yeah, don't, number one, you don't drug people. And number two, you don't, yeah, you're both in the wrong. You need consent. You need consent to drug people. But let's hear her out. Let's see what she's all about. You're here. Perja called Skrulam and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply, and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. I mm. wish we- why- are we gonna be able to play as Steven eventually? He just wants to live a normal life. Cause Steven, we've heard about him since the beginning of the game, we've just never seen him. Yeah, to my he, knowledge, right? Seems just like a cool dude, I don't know. Yeah. And now, I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. Why? I don't want Herta to worry herself over these frivolous matters. Even though she probably wouldn't care anyway. Uh-huh. Just in case, I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. Okay. Uh -huh. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you. Don't pry too much and keep your expressions in check. Expressions? Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. So this is the dungeon, I'm assuming. <sighs> Oh, wait, no, this is the new area. No, this is just the meeting. Oh, okay. Hi, Ronme. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. Yep. It's good to see you, sir. Affirmation. This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Indeed. It's nice to see you again. You weren't invited. I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Hmm. Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. 
<laughs> Woo! I I would personally do bow, but you do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, baby! <laughs> you appreciated Let it. Let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. Oh. You wish to kick Steven out? That's messed up. No, of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. Look, I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have the chance to be involved in this decision making anymore. Ow. He's just a normal guy. Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yes, a fifth genius. Okay. And that is? The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? No answer. one can refuse the secret of the eons. Oh. Not even Xandar. We'll definitely get a response. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? That'd be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. Yeah, sounds like it. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. Dr. Primitive? Dr. Primitive? I just got a gnarly image in my mind. That's a hard pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal free. That's gonna be so a future character. Oh, 100%. What about you, Ching Tu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Can we ask him to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be long and boring. There's no need to take up other people's time. Huh. Yeah, I think it would take the exact same amount, depending on uh, who was there. Of course! You brought him in after all. It's up to you. Oh, you bring us in, you send us out. I mean, it sounds like right. she just didn't want to waste her time. Let me walk you out. Even though I so wish we could hear more about the Genius Society. I kind of, I kind of want to hear it. The reality is that- And what the heck is this? What the heck is that? It's her dessert. You shouldn't eat it. Seems like a programming error. That's literally you on it. <sighs> this fragment of Ron May. Have you seen it in the simulated universe before? I have not, but I'm sure other people have. <sighs> yes, I have, which means no, I haven't. The simulated universe is my home. <sighs> yes. I'm speaking nonsense again. It's probably an isolated glitch. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. I'm used to turning a blind eye to these things. It makes life easier. I am curious, though. Are you gonna keep it, Ronnie? <laughs> I probably will. Records indicate he likes this occurrence. <laughs> oh, oh. I again. I actually. I. I'll be honest. I have not run into Rune May in the simulated universe, so I have never experienced it. Uh, she's probably a part of the uh, bug thing. That's where they talked about us meeting her first. Really? Okay. We haven't done that. So I haven't done that. Yeah. All right. I agree. As long as it helps you with your research, you can do whatever you want. Come along. I'll see you out. Hmm. Can we talk to the other people, though? Yes. What's wrong? You're not leaving. Will there be a fifth genius joining, or...? I want to know about Polk Kakamon. Female wears a fashionable scarf. I find her rather fascinating. I'm assuming another playable character that will eventually pop up? Eventually. Scarf. Cool. Oh, what? I wanted to ask the... Okay, I can only ask one the of the two questions. The air in the space station has a pleasant quality. Affirmation. Knowledge flows within it. Hmm. I don't know about Dr. Primitive. <laughs> yeah, I do that. Dr. Primitive's true identity is not known to me. His previous transgressions against humanity lead some to conclude he may be an inorganic entity. Oh. Affirmation. All beings, organic or otherwise, should value peace. Oh, never mind. Dr. Uh, Primitive may actually be uh, an enemy. Possibly. Sounds like it. I can't talk to you guys anymore. Help! 
Man, why can't you ask you everything? That's kind of sad. Oh, well. It appears I was overthinking things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her, after all. Thankfully, Who? it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. What, that she caught something you did? I have no I idea. see that you've recovered the life form in the master control zone. Thank you. Well done. Is there something I shouldn't hear? I don't, don't know. No, you misunderstand. While Herta is tied up in meetings, you might find it more convenient to roam the space station. By that, you mean take care of the problem you caused without anyone noticing? There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. Probably the beetle thing that we're going to have to fight soon. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Uh-huh. Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the stars, or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, it is no longer open to the public. Ah, new area. Uh -huh. And now my headache is stored there. The beetle. Okay. So Herta gave you permission to use this place? She gave me permission and said no more. I'm giving you my access card. Give me your hand and I'll input your fingerprint into it. Uh-huh. Stay vigilant, assistant. Should you come across a threat you can't handle, just alert me. I'll come to your aid no matter what. Remember, there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my headache is stored. Uh-huh. Once you're back, come find me on the railway platform. Then you'll understand everything. Will I? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, got any last minute things I can hear? Nah, too oh, bad. come on. Oh, whatever. No teases for us. <sighs> Sad. Where do you guys even go? To the elevator. The elevator! I'm excited to see this new place, though. What would a sealed zone look like? I don't know. Probably like a zone. It's that sealed. sealed. Specifically. Here we go! Ooh, cutscene. Dang. Ooh, you're hyping me up, game. Oh, it's pretty. Oh no, what horrors await in this place? Terrible, evil beings. Oh, We're gonna get attacked by the critters. I'm calling it now, the babies. <gasps> oh no. Oh, oh it's just wait. a bot. Never mind. Oh, an injured robot. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, hi? Oh. And it's gone. <laughs> well, that's not great. In fact, that is quite bad. And yet her symbols on this place. Enter the safe zone. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> Hang on, Chief. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And the mysterious little robot in this side. Hey, oh. buddy. There he is. Do I have to shut you off like all the other ones? You're Buzz. not the same one. Buzz. What's up with this unit? It looks different from the one in the master control zone. Really? Buzz, Madam Herta, open zone. Buzz. Wait, how did you just? Alien species, galactic you can... visitors. You can flick the camera when you're in conversations. Oh, yeah, you just click and drag. Oh, I didn't know that. Wait, just left click. Yeah, left click and drag. It doesn't lock your mouse though. Oh, so you can click out of. Okay, if you're in windowed mode, you can click out. High risk zone. Buzz, service staff, inorganic life forms. Buzz. Permission status. Madam Ron May. Permissions granted. Madam Herta. Fine. As long as it keeps her happy. Buzz. What zone is this for? Class 1 clearance zone. Buzz. Ow. Many esteemed guests. Buzz. 
may include dangerous persons. Buzz. Storage for Madame Herta's dangerous curios. <coughs> Buzz. God bless you. Madame Thank you. Ron May's cultivated life forms. Buzz. Welcome, Buzz. Visitor, how can I help? Classification of robots jobs. Yeah. Fry interesting. leftover rice. Buzz. <laughs> Fry leftover rice. Buzz. Wow, that's a lot of rice. Welcome. Visitor, what do you need? Where can I find the incubator? I want to see visitor logs. Oh. That's more interesting. You could do that. Madam Ron May, Buzz, alien species, Buzz, that is all. Okay. Fry leftover rice, Buzz, fry leftover rice, Buzz. <laughs> so only her and her creations have been down here. Chest! Cool door. So no one else is responsible for what has happened down here. Ooh. Anything behind me? No. That's really cool. And we're loading in the impact third, huh? Yeah, this is impact third's loading screen. Anything behind me, right? Nope. Chest. Well, okay. chest in the middle of the hallway is not inconspicuous at all. How big is this area? Whoa. As you look down, a strong sense of crisis creeps up your spine to the back of your head. You clench your fists in silence. I see. It was there to make me proc that. Clever. What did I just run into? I, I don't know. Well, nothing there now. I didn't see anything. I didn't know. Why are we doomed? Do? Can you hit the uh, M key? I want to see how big this place is. Oh, okay. It's not too big. It's the same size as the other zones. It's, it's got like the kind of same circular area. Circular design. Is the game gonna yell at me for going this way? I don't know. Yell at me. Please? Ah, okay. Here I was hoping for dialogue. Of, I don't know, me slamming my face into the wall. Too bad. Continue searching for clues. Like paper man. Oh. What is this? The kindling for the face flame is fascinating. Unfortunately, before the research could be completed, it vanished. I've initiated new attempts. Face flame? The growth uh, of the yeah. samples this time is promising. I incorporated personal taste preferences into the concept, but I'm uncertain about the outcome of such an action. Are you the reason there's a talking plant on that one floor? You know, maybe! They simultaneously possess two sets of emotional traits. They are at once cute, weak, sentimental, and sensitive, yet are also fierce, instigating, demanding, and confident. Uh huh. Interestingly, they also possess a kind of inclination, a yearning for their creator. It manifests as a natural, inherent emotion, similar to that of a baby towards its mother. Yeah. Life towards sustenance, or the peculiar bond between humans. Okay. Huh? What's that sound out there? Oh no. Well, I hear babies. Baby! <gasps> Baby spotted. That's oh, the green one. <coughs> Hello. You're so jiggly. This is the headache Rung they mentioned? Mm, not it's quite. Just a different flavor. <coughs> mm. What do you mean, different flavor? Oh, this is gray, uh, gray bean paste. Are you hiding in the dessert? I am the dessert. The dessert. 
It claims to be connected with with its shell. Oh, it's like a turtle. It's pretty inconvenient to be like that, actually. I'm so sorry. It looks deeply distressed, crying profusely. Activate the beacon! It's crying! I'm not one of Rame's recognized works. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love this voice actor. <laughs> Too much negative energy. Don't like negative energy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just want to give it a hug. I'm sorry, it's hilarious, but so sad. You're a genius in your own way. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. You're you're a genius in your jiggliness. Yeah, there you go. Click that. <laughs> Yo, that intentional voice crack. Whoa. That's, that's some talent. That's good. So they all feel like this, huh? Apparently. So she just, what, created them and just... Wait, that means we made the baby. That baby probably looks up to us like it, like we're its dad. I will adopt it now. Okay. And give it lots of love. You gotta go back and grab that one. I will. If the game would let me. Do it. Seems to believe that it's emotional infection infected. Infectiousness is also quite genius. Why? Why am I a failure? I don't know. She's a bad mom. Gaze at Ron May's creation, which appears to be still, oh, uh, which appears to still be waiting sadly for Ron May to come and get it. A hint of compassion tugs at your heart. What's that noise? Meow. Meow. Uh, follow me. It'll be okay. I need to find a place for this little one. That sound seems to be from that locked room. How do I get in? Can you squeeze your little squishy body through the vent and unlock the door for me, please? Oop, chest. Burn! Mow. Seems I want to find one that has like a really deep voice. Sensing your fear and starts humming. Oh, it's so nice. That door actually opened for me. Hi, what's in here? Chest. I thought it was a firing range for a moment. Firing range. Well, I mean, look at it. It like separated by that. And just... You've been playing too much Valorant. That's what you've been doing. I've been playing too many games. What am I looking at? You stand on your tippy toes, trying to read the data and theorize on the oh, and theories on the screen. Yet within your vision exist only blank walls. Dang. You are left frustrated by those profound theories, which seem unreachable by an average person. The walls are blank, just like your mind when you're spacing out. Your thoughts are drifting away. Okay huh. then. Suddenly, realization dawns on you. Why make futile efforts to prove theories when you should, in fact, make the laws of the universe yield to you? That's not a great way of looking at things. Apparently, that's how they do it. Apparently. Well, all right then. I don't think it works like that, but, you know. Messing with that stuff is dangerous, man. I will just bend the rules of... In a circle, Rod May's creations join hands with each other. It intertwines joy and sorrow. What? I'm not. I'm not signed up for any horror movie. You better not turn into. They're cute and jiggly. I don't know, man. They are cute and jiggly. It's really unsettling when cute things do scary things. What the flip? Ah, I was hoping I had my best. Oh well. Oh, hey, it's the Beatles. We uh. I don't know what you do. Oh, that's right. You guys duplicate. Can it be our turn now? Thanks. Okay, so yeah, there's a specific gimmick on how to deal with these guys. I don't want to spoil it. I know how it works. So you're the fake one, I'm guessing. Or are you the one that's about to split? Uh, hit Z and you can read about them. Propagate in the next turn. Okay, so you're the one that's going to split. So what does the purple one do? Cannot do it until it recovers from weakness break. 
And you, I just assume, smack. Uh, should be a killing blow deals quantum damage to all friendly units, increases their damage received. Got it. Ah, you suck. Okay. But, kill the propagating one first. Uh, I could heal, but let's... Stand let's down. Out. Go ahead and break the dude on the left, since you have the opportunity. Oh, they're tough, little boogers. Hmm. Clara should break him then. Generate a little bit of energy. Okay. <laughs> okay. All things in this world, human creations. Nice, nice, good call. Oh, they all explode. Yes. You're getting it. I can do this. Have you fully ha do you do you understand how it works now with these guys? Just kill them and they will just kill each other. Sometimes you can get in trouble, oh, so try to whittle all their health down. Try to keep them low. Because you can domino affect them. Why not? Oh. Man, she is a terrible mother. <laughs> okay, so I see that one. I thought that was like gas or something. No, so this is all beetles. Well, actually, if we're going to be playing like that, the hold on. on the truth. Ooh. Okay, they still get a free turn. Uh -oh. I see through you. <laughs> Oh! Don't really need to heal, so let's just get a little bit of that. Tedious. Hopefully that kills. No. Nope. Oh, okay, it wasn't. Ah, uh, any of them hit Clara. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was a healthy one. Oh well. Ow. These beetles are actually a really cool enemy. I I really dig the whole combat design of it. It is basically an infinite spawning enemy. That is a really mean enemy to create. I'm not afraid of you. Shouldn't be too bad. Now I'll save that for another fight. How many can you have, I wonder? It's infinite. I, no, I know, but how many can be on the board at once? Uh, I think the maximum number is five or six, oh. if I'm not mistaken. I wanted to see more. Yeah, no, it's, uh, that would be funny, but that would be a nightmare. Cause like, if that was a possibility, the next round would be eight, and then it would be 16, and then it would be 32. I mean, that'd be kind of fun though. It, I think the game would crash before you like, it would do anything. But it'd be fun though, because then they all like pop, 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 when they died. That'd be hilarious. Do not concern yourself. It'd also make it come. easier to deal with. Whoa, big one. Sorry. But... Hey, oh, it guy. doesn't see you. Boop. Okay, Ow. so that's. A... So what? You just charge up? I think that's a bomb one. I'm assuming that's a bomb. It looks like a bomb. Oh, yeah. Explode. Yeah. Oh, and it taunts. That's probably damage reduction or whatever the heck. So let's snap you. You have a lot of HP. Okay. 
Well, fine. That did not do a lot. It's a lot of HP. All things oh, that's not what I meant to click. Loss. I meant to click one. Oh, well. This is what I wanted to do. He should hit Clara. Well, I mean, tedious. Okay, this should be it. I like that Clara kind of counters that. Clara counters so many things in this game. I feel Not like it, literally, if you can get Clara. You don't have to go for Fu, but if you get Fu and Clara, you are almost unbeatable. Almost. Where does your path lead? I don't know. What is happening? I don't know if you need to fight all the bugs, but you can if you want. Well, I'd rather not get smacked by them. That's true. And I want to see all the variants. Oh, well. Heals. Nah, I'll save that for a more serious situation. These guys aren't that bad. I need to be brave. Annihilation. I want to protect everyone too. Yes, Farag! Your worst mistake. Stay back, Clara. Try harder. Oi! Stand down. Please hit her. So unkind. So yeah, I hit that one. And it's done. That fourth one is gonna live. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Nah, they can finish it up. Nice. Oh, it had the target on it. Nice. Very, very nice. No, they're not bad at Do all. Do not concern yourself with the outcome. Oh, that's sad. I will say, the Beatles are probably a nightmare to fight as like a newbie person. If oh, you do not, probably. If you do not have like cone attack, if you have like- Especially since this is available right after beating the space station. Yeah, technically you can do this quest right after beating her space station, which is insane to me. There, there may be a actual, there may be a level, like an account level There's requirement. There's probably a level requirement. Because I just, I, you could do it with the starter team. It would just be a lot harder. You'd have to be a lot more strategic. I never imagined <gasps> there'd be so many of them. Oh, they're so cute. Why are they all made out of desserts? Why are they all food? That's messed Rod up. May, what the heck? You were here too. Uh, seems like this is the other end of that one-way path. Oh, okay. sorry about that. Well, what does this button do? Incinerate them? Hopefully not. Dude, don't know. That member number twenty-three, Acha, spent in the mechanical city. Showed me that even the longest of lives, such as hers, hmm? have a limit. Okay. I'm now certain that the outcome of this cultivation is... failure. Wait, did you make her or did you kill her? I don't know. Life can exist in thousands of different forms, which means the form itself has no purpose. These life forms are very advanced in their own concepts and can even trigger chain reactions such as synesthesia. But that is not what I desire. <laughs> I'm starting to feel lost. Perhaps the question, what is the essence of life? Never had an answer. Number one, Vandar. God bless you. Have you ever you. felt this loss? Oh my goodness. Ooh, big beetle with a chest. 
Well, let's get that marked off our map. Yeah, so that's is that all be... that's down there? That is all that's down there. Yeah, so they're gonna be super buff though. Just heads up. Cool. I wanna see what these You may actually really wanna proc do. uh Jingliu's uh technique. So no. This one push. The moon shines on the truth. Oh, bang! You actually don't have to pop foos if you don't want to, since why not? Oh. Since they attack first. Uh, Is that hundred percent? It's best to have at least a little bit of. Defense. I see through you. I can I actually, proc now. Uh, the red ones just explode anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I, I think I. I I haven't seen it done. I'm assuming if you blow them up, they do a lot of damage to their own team. But you'd have to be able to one-shot them, and I don't think our characters can do that. Well, we're about to find out, I guess. They have so much health. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> you would need to have a character that could use um, a physical attack, but like burst. So maybe Svarog could trigger this here? No, they blow up first. Yep. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, that was easy. What did they just do? Wait, what does that affect on them? I have no idea. They can't use their uh, their burst, so... I am unaware. Oh, oh they're taunted. Them. Got it. Well, you goofed! Well, I mean, honestly, that works just fine for me. So that's only bad if there's multiple waves. Got it. But even then, our team is practically autoing anyway, so. Probably hit the right or the left, yeah. That was not a crit, okay. I would like to point out that Jing Liu has almost like, like 80 to 90% crit rate and somehow we hit that 10%. We're probably gonna get max cultivation here or max enemies. Oh, I see, you're wondering what to do here. Okay. I would personally just single target someone, yeah. Yeah, it's going to kill the one and you know they're going to spawn. So just hit him with a normal. Time to do something. Oh, well, never mind. There it goes anyway. Well, we hit the new one, so. Wait, hold up. This is going to be really weird because wait, hold up. Wait, stop, stop. Wait, guys, stop. Wait a minute. No, that worked. That worked out. Wait, okay. Why are you freaking out? I thought these two were gonna spawn. I was like, hold up, is it just gonna infinitely keep spawning enemies here? Are we just gonna have the cycle of just endless spawning? Okay, that was super easy. Never mind. I thought that was gonna be so much worse. Bountiful treasure. Bountiful. Bra bra. Bra. Bra bra. Chippa bra. Speaking wisdom dog now, apparently. Of course. The most wisdomest of dogs. The wisdom, the wisest of dogs. Why is it closed? Oh, because here. Another door. Yo. Are you telling me to keep going? Yes. Thanks for the motivation, I guess. Motivational cat. What does this thing do? Life is countless and varied in form. I firmly believe in that. Its beauty is like a myriad of flowers, and I want to pluck the one that never wilts. Uh huh. The patterns of all things always have complicated and enchanting exteriors, while their inner essences remain simple and plain. If we were to trace things back to their roots, just one equation would be enough to solve the confusion of all life. Uh huh. Ever since I was a child, I have always delighted in observing aspects of microscopic creatures, such as the speed with which slime molds devour objects. I have also gazed far and wide across the macroscopic world, investigating the progress of the universe up to this day. It was all very simple.
Uh huh. I wish to discover the true essence of life, something that all individuals possess unknowingly, whether it is the materialism of their existence or an unknown entity beyond corporeal realms. Uh huh. To avoid blind faith in science, I cautiously raised a query. Would Ram May be able to peel away external influences? Just like pinpointing a coordinate, would she be able to uncover life's most primordial and beautiful form of existence? Uh huh, you're one of those people, I huh? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach, and that is. It'll cut right there. I knew it! An Eon or Aeon or whatever you call it. Yeah, them. an Eon, probably. Oh! I keep thinking it's gas coming out of a pipe. I didn't even see far that. too many horror games. Bro, I did not see that one at all. My brain just keeps auto going like, oh yeah, it's just a pipe, bro. It's fine. You're Gucci, dude. Don't even worry about it. No matter. Man, you keep outraging my healer, As which well. is like kind of cringe. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Here, if I please. Thanks. Tedious. Hi, I'm a little annoyed. Probably, yeah. I killed a little outrage, dude. I'd rather have six of the normal beetles than the outrage things. Well, they don't propagate. Yeah. Even one is annoying. Yeah, so five is the max, I think. Considering the last Solid. one did Oh, wait, crap, I'm gonna have skill points. Oops. Uh... Well, All things in this world have their laws. Can do this, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, basic, yeah. And yeah, that should be enough. Should be, yeah. I'm scared. Stay put. Annihilate. Is it easy, simple, and clean? Do not concern yourself with the outcome. Oh, well, then I can just boop, click. Aha, shortcut unlocked, I guess. There we go. I avoided a corridor. Let's go. Okay, I assume when I beat this place, all these locked doors were all open. Maybe? Ooh. Something busted out. Oh, these are the plants! Investigate. Yeah. Read the record. The duration of sunlight exposure is a crucial factor affecting mood. Basking into the starlight has been proven to be an effective method to alleviate negative emotions. Uh huh. Sounds fitting. Accommodate the gray bean paste. Stay here for a bit. Uh, it's good. Put you in that tube. Oh, that unlocked that door for some reason. Open? The universe, it's calling us. Oh, that one's like a cow. That's cute. There's a strawberry one. Very cute. I don't like that they're desserts, though. I have to admit, that is very unsettling to me. She likes desserts. Bro, that doesn't mean you make it sentient. You just eat it, and you enjoy dessert. You do not make dessert sentient. What if your chocolate pudding suddenly said, Hello there! I'd scream! No freaking way! If my birthday well, you cake- you, like, waste it, though? Well, imagine you start singing happy birthday to someone, and then the cake joins in! You don't want that! Well, you don't want to cut into a screaming cake. No! Uh, that's actually cake. from something. There's- What is that from? Uh, I don't even know. Oh, well, that opened. <gasps> Ooh, chest. Grab the loot. Grab the paper. Thank you. Alright. What else does she have to say for herself? In room. Buzz. Only Madame Ron May has permissions. Please submit your ID. ID Buzz. Buzz. Permission Here's the card. Granted. Buzz. Buzz. Select from the below services. One. Check historical incubation records. Two. Inorganic life form companionship chat service. What? <laughs> chat service? What? Inorganic in life form companionship chat service. Is like a dating app for robots? <laughs> this function has been damaged. Buzz. Buzz. Oh, come on. I want to see if I have any 
Robot matches. I don't know. Robot matches, Daniel. What are you on about? What are you? What? It's a. It's an an organic life form companionship chat service. What? You're not curious. You, you know what? Well, what if you have zero matches? I guess that's a good thing because it's robots. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Is this incubation? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach. That's some nice art, dude. Can you actually full screen that? Uh, that's nice. Man, I made something that I'm unable to control and is far more powerful than me. That's a great idea. It always that's ends a, well. That's a freaking terrible so idea. now here we are having to clean up her mess. Great. And that is an emanator. You made an emanator? How? How do what? How? what an emanator is. So you just made one as strong as you can? Like, that's probably it. Okay, so it's not actually an emanator. She's just trying to oh, make Oh, so one. the boss is an emanator. That would explain why it's, a, why it's a weekly boss. Scholars view them as the executors of the Eon's power. So, when Got did it. they begin? And at what point did they become closer to the Eon than any other life? Form? Right, okay, since she wants to become an Eon, she's trying to make an emanator. That's interesting. At first, I tried to create a genius. I failed. That question has no solution yet, and a long journey of discovery still lies ahead. Ah, it's almost like you can't make a genius. Dum dum. However, erudition isn't the only path in the universe. If we set logic aside, would there be more primitive and pure emanators on other paths? Okay. Uh huh. Of course there would be. Casey Ronda. I was able to see the beginning and end of the swarm disaster through the simulated universe, obtain data on the Imperator and Sectorum and their descendants, replicate them, nurture them, and create a brand new scientific discipline. Okay. Why? It is a logical decision. No. I will certainly succeed. No. The entity that I reconstruct will bloom into a life never before seen. Why would you choose those things of all things? They're bad, evil. This is, this is the whole uh, mentality of okay, so you can do it, but should you? Will Herta and Screwlem like this experiment? Most likely not. Therefore, before they realize what I am doing. Oh my goodness. I must hurry my work, as well as find a fitting assistant. Oh. Man, this is really dangerous work, but people will be upset if I if I if they find out I'm doing this. So I'm going to do it fast and potentially make a bunch of errors and mistakes. She's so smart. Permission granted. Buzz. Select from the below services. 1. Check visitor records. 2. Open incubator entrance. Show me your records. Madam Ron May. Buzz alien species. Buzz Man with plaster head. Buzz. Plaster head? So, uh, Galileo. Not Galileo. Uh. Shiny man. What? Oh! The new guy. Dr. Guy. Ratio. Dr. Ratio. Gal Galileo. Not Galileo. <laughs> Help. Okay. Seems like there's something new. So, what are you doing down here? The elevator record didn't have you. How are you down here? Maybe he just came down? Or is he the fitting, uh, his assistant? Permission granted, Buzz. That sound's coming from above. No, I think the assistant is us. Well, wow, we're the new assistant. We don't know. If... Wait, did she lock him in here? <laughs> I, I don't know. Dang, that's messed up. Oh, okay. You're not gas. No, you're gonna be made into gas. Oh, that was a mistake on your part. Ooh, shouldn't have done that. I'm good and awaken. I'm scared. Stay put. Tedious. This is basically just yeah, the same fight over and over. So just deal with that Target one. Threat index lowered. Eh, give everyone a bit of an equal schmack. Stay back, Clara. Man, I wish that generated skill points. That would be too broken, though. I know it would be. That'd be the fun. Stand down. Just 
Okay, that should be That it. should almost do it. If not, they can finish it. Yeah. Boop. Did it. Easy, Easy peasy. We probably don't have to fight all these beetles, you know. There's... Can we get past these guys? Every time I've tried... They smack me. Okay, yeah, clear that, because the dot... The dot procs, right? As soon as you get it on yep. to... Oh, oh. So freaking nice. I want to protect every pony, Mr. Tara. Ooh, actually, that's really nice. So that's Max. Okay, that's enough. Oh, that 100% wipes everyone. That is very satisfying. That's very nice. To get all five just to die in, this, in a single Do not instance. Concern yourself with the outcome. What? Did I thought the attack hit. Did it dodge by jumping? I don't know. Well, hit my tankiest character. You also hit, you know, Clee. That'd be, that'd be kind of nice if we did that, but you know, like, we even care about my own guys. It sounds like you care, Daniel. No, not at all. It's ridiculous. Why would I? Uh, why would I? Right. Stay back, Clara. I want to protect everyone. Tell me, Mr. Sora. Gotta love the boy. Are you all right? Hmm. Really hoping that uh, you didn't do that. Oh, well, actually, no. It still works, though. Possibly. There you go. No, oh, wait. Split. Oh, wait, you're not. I guess it ran out of turns? I don't know. That's nice. Did you die? Oh, no, you did die. I was going to say, what? How? <laughs> Ching Liu was just like, I want to transform. Live with a microscopic amount of health. One down there. Is there anything down there? Oh, actually, that's going to loop around. Uh, yeah, I'll grab that door open. Oh, is that a shortcut? That's a shortcut. That makes sense. Might as well get it out of the way now. Yep. At least she generates energy from being hit. Ow! Stop being cringe. That attack animation is so cool. Mm hmm You're already decently low. Target threat index annihilated. I want to protect everyone. Tell me, Mr. Tara. Robo Dad is here and he's angry. Well, that's not the greatest one you can hit. Well, that's not the greatest one you can hit either, but. Well, no, that worked. No, that was perfect. That actually worked out. Somehow. Somehow, that, that was amazing. Clara is such a good counter the to these beetles. It's kind of silly, actually. Clara's fun. So that Wait, is the loop. I? Back here. Oh. What? Oh, no. I was thinking of that door. Whew, never mind. My brain is confuzzled. <laughs> it's the full circle. Never mind. We're going back. Yeah, this is the exit. We are going back upstairs. So, are we meeting Ratio? I guess we're going to meet Dr. Ratio, then continue? I don't know. Or was that just a reference to Dr. Ratio? Maybe he's not here. I mean, he's on the art of the quest. True. Oh, time to take the long L. I could have just teleported back up here. No, he wouldn't have let me. It would have been cinematic or something. Yo, this music. Metroid vibes. Huh. There's someone in the distance. Yep, there he is. Who is that? Look at him! 
Why is he wearing a plastered head? That's sad. Hmm. Is that uncomfortable to have on? A genius move. And how will you counter it? <sighs> Only an idiot would <laughs> ask such a question. Uh huh. Just move this here. Hmm. Uh. Um. Yo. <sighs> you look distressed. Something the matter? Yeah, why do you have that on your head and how do you breathe through it? <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. If that's the case, you better get thinking. Are you waiting for a sign? Time is ticking. Descend via the elevator. What you seek is there. Oh, you're a magnificent. But who are you? Have you considered whether the answer to your question will be of any relevance to our current predicament? How do you... How are you wearing How that? are you seeing through that? How are you breathing in that? And how are you speaking out of that? Because that's kind of holding your jaw in place. I'm just wondering. If a question is of no help, then don't ask it. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. Can't uh -huh. argue with that. <sighs> Never mind. Allow me to clarify something. I know exactly who you are, and I'm aware you are in Ron May's employ. False. This was not my intended destination. I just happened to find my way here during my visit and saw what she was up to. My goals are roughly aligned with yours. Since you're here, I won't intercede. But should you fail, I will be forced to prevent some avoidable misfortunes. Mm -hmm. That's all you need to know. Just two paragraphs. Very effective communication. I want to talk to someone not smart. Or not pompous. <laughs> well, thank you for telling me. Why do you wear that? Because I can't bear to see idiots. Of course, they wouldn't want to see me either. Dr. Ratio, I'm sorry to tell you this, but like, I absolutely adore you. Sorry. I don't think I'm as smart as you want, like, a fan to be, but dude, you are awesome. You could be a little less rude, though. creation is hidden in the giant incubator below us. Go. Take the elevator and bear witness to this genius masterpiece. You sound very sarcastic when you said that. What, did the, qu the air quotes not give that away? No, of course not. <laughs> yeah, there's so many dialogue options in this quest line, you just cannot hear, which is kind of sad. Yeah. It's one of those things where you it's can't like, can't even okay. replay it. Well, can you? Uh, no, no. Star Rail, you can't replay things. Too bad. You have to make a new account. Yeah, it's tough. Ooh, more evil elevator music with no planet to look at in the background, which is sin signifying something darker. Maybe, you know, I don't know. It's really funny how the devs well, really- Well, how on earth? Oh, that's how on earth. Oh, that's cool. I'm getting Final Fantasy XIV flashbacks. I love how the devs tried to make Dr. Oh. Ray- Yo. The space station has an area this big? Wait, where is it? What? They tried to make him unlikable because they wanted to make a pompous jerk for some reason. I just- no, I he's think, still like I think me I like and most of the community would agree that he is very lovable. He's a very lovable idiot. While also being incredibly smart. Smart people can be stupid in their own ways. Ooh, that's Here it. we go. Ew. That's very freshly broken out of. I oh, know the boxes are sparking. Ooh, honey. That's not honey. That's definitely honey. What are you? No. Mm hmm. See, sticky like honey. It's gotta be. Oh no. It's Winnie the- oh, that's not him. That's not Winnie the Pooh! Oh. Dang! What did we hit? The what are we claw. swinging at? Swinging at that thing. Propagation clone? How can that be? Ow. Ow. Can it be my turn now? Okay! It actually turned off two times speed for this. It wants me to take my sweet time with this one. Okay, boss music is awesome. Confirmed. Uh, you're definitely gonna want to apply the heal to multiple people. Oh. 
tedious. Oh, you're weak to eyes? Oh, let's go. Makes sense. It's a bug. Dude, it looks like a freaking ship. Uh, Actually, no. Normal attack. Let's generate some stuff. Ooh, that sounded like oh, you're cute. Oh, I thought it was a floating thing in front of us. Oh, we need to kill that taunt thing. Stand down and I'll spare you. Shield, what does the shield do? Don't know. Probably have to kill the minions first before we can actually hurt it. Gotcha. Oh no, we can still hurt it. We can definitely still hurt it. Go ahead and hit four, by the way. Oh, wow, I'm so glad you spawned in. Hi. Okay, so these are just endlessly spawning. They're here to annoy the flip out of you because of taunt. Um, Still spawning more in? Oh, it's spawning them whenever it gets hit. I see. Ah! It wants single target damage. But it would still spawn things even if you're single target. This anyway. Yeah, go for it. Spawn in another one. Get more explosions going. So I think the gimmick is, yeah, you want to spawn as many as possible, then you wipe the floor with them. I think. I guess. Uh... Yeah, Rune, Rune, or, uh, Ron May would have loved to have been on the team right now for this. Let's just generate a little bit of energy and get everyone a little buff, you know? Sounds good to me. It's not a lot of energy, but it's some. Um... All right. With all my power, the future. Hold everyone back again. Uh. You're fine on healing. We're fine, honestly. Sky Wolf making me. It's basically tech. Ah. Uh. Commencing annihilation. I want to protect everyone too. This should kill a few of them. It's about gonna be a bad time for y'all. Hopefully a full health one hits you first. Well. Oh well. Okay. He's dead anyway. Get a new one in here. Oh, no, a new one's spawning. Because it was technically full. Now a new one is spawning. Yeah, it spawned to the left. Couldn't see it. Oh, well, it's constant damage anyway. Okay, this isn't too bad. This is pretty manageable. Because Clara exists. I can have an ultimate for Clara again. Let's go. It's never not going to be their turn. Oh, at least hit Clara. Jerk. Oh, thanks. Ah, I didn't do it fast enough. Oh, well. It was only phase one, so... Let's we'll see how phase two goes. I just go oh, for the big guy, you're right? no longer shielded. You ran out of shield juice. Yeah, I just Dang, nuked you are this guy. Very squishy. Well, look at, uh, so do you see the debuff going on him? Whenever you blow up a little guy, I think we're making his defense go down. Oh, I think. Hi, that was not me. Let's see, does that go to nine now? Yes. The more you kill, the weaker he becomes. Uh, of course. That's how it works. Let's uh, actually heal through the level. Even though she is nowhere near dying, she still has two lives left. Energy thing is gonna fade next round. Ah, punch. I got this round. It's gonna. I forgot the ultimate was still going. Destroy the space station. Is it? My I turn. mean, if we didn't kill it here, yes, this would probably destroy the space station. Well, I mean, with Herta and uh, everyone else, I don't know. I'm okay. Converge and awaken. Ready for I'll wait for death. it to spawn one more thing before I do anything. You say that while hitting it with the big attack. Not like you can do anything else. Is this going to prolong it? Revealed. Apparently I not, but okay, we'll just hit you harder. Lunar flame. Oh, oh, yeah, your state? Yeah, it should. If you didn't in time. I think I did. Yep, you got it. Woo! Let's go. I 
I should be fine without healing. So it also spawns something in when it attacks. Mm -hmm. Which is an interesting. Oh no! Anyway. Wait, I couldn't read that fast enough. So it Whenever puts the shield up? Yeah. Okay. No, please, no! Oh. Okay, that one's not great. Allow me to make a divination. All things in this world have their laws. Yet stratagems, constellations, are human creations! Oof. Very, very sick. Oh, okay, well, another bomb one is not what I was hoping for. No, that's... So this is why it's phase two. It's harder to the proc. I'm not going to be able to stop that. No, you will not. Well... Oh, it was just charging up. Ow. You may actually be able to stop that. Depends. No, I won't. Not with that happening. But Could you hit me? Maybe Beal's dying to do it. Maybe? Hit the, uh... Is it crazy? So don't do this just yet. Let me say what I'm thinking. What? If you hit the big guy, you could kill the guy to the left while also smacking the guy on the right. Would the explosion kill him? Would you hitting him with the side damage and the explosion do it? I don't know. It's either that or two explosions. Just go for two, two explosions then, I guess. Nah, I wouldn't have been enough. Oh, interesting. Oh, that side spawns purple, that side spawns bombs. So that's always how it is. Gotcha. Let's get this going. So even if they do do anything, this should be What's that? Okay. That was that's a lot okay. of damage. The fact that Foo just went to half health says a lot. That is a scary amount of damage. Yep. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. I want to protect everyone too. Everyone hit her. Please. Hey. Oh no, she almost died. Anyway. Probably just rocket barrage. I'm okay. Oh. oh, explosive one may blow up. Uh, it'll die before it's its turn. Yeah, go ahead and hit that thing. Tedious. Well, it's almost a shame to waste this. Oh, it adds multiple stacks. That makes sense. Ow! Oh! Oi, cringe. Uh-oh. I need to be free. I'm gonna need this thing to hold on for a minute. Probably just go for the punch, and then, weirdly enough, you could just... Oh, what do you hit here? You potentially could kill it if you go directly for the face, but you could just kill the side guy, too. Yeah, go I, ahead and hit him once. Set it up, my, and then hit the big guy with your main damage here. What I really need is food to activate her shield again. Oh, that guy was going to die no matter what. Ah, okay. Bad timing on that. It's fine. You're good. I want to protect everyone yeah, no, this guy's just dead. Just go for face. I lost one of these guys are like super low health. Oh! This may even kill. I don't know. This may kill. Please? No. Okay. 
Oh, you goofed. Oh, please tell me. That should do it. No! No, no one on the left do it. Oh, oh! It was enough. Let's see. Get destroyed, nerd! Oh, that looks cool. Bro, yes. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Dr. Oh, Ratio. We beat him up! Dr. Ratio for the win, maybe? Oh, that's not good. I just batted away. Or. Was that baseball just for show? Baseball. I'm sorry, it died? After 56 seconds, the creature was unable to sustain its own existence and vanished as if it had never been born. Oh. Hmm. The threat is over. Time to get going. Oh, so it just would have disintegrated anyway. Is it over? I... I need to get some answers out of Romme. I bet she'll answer any. Jeez. Hey, little guys. Ah, oh, they're just happily cleaning. Well, good for you guys. They just vibing. And now, that is the weekly boss. That's sick. That's actually a really hard fight. It's pretty fun, though. Yeah, it looks fun. Oh, I have to sneeze. Standing next to the best pig. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. The meeting of geniuses is over. As for the future of the simulated universe, that conclusion isn't important. What's important is your task. I'm really excited to see where the devs take the simulated universe because that's like it's uh, it, ha it has its own story going on it has, right a, now. It has its own subplot that's going to be very important in the future very cool you look upset yeah correct i regret my actions there's no defending what i've done time and again my experiments have fallen short and they've always yielded predictable results uh-huh I made a clone, but it doesn't hold a candle to the emanator. Oh, that's your regret. You didn't have to lie to me. How should I have explained it to you? I'm not good at communicating with others. I don't know. Maybe, hey. I made a giant demigod in the basement. Diet. You know, maybe a warning. You can deal with it. We had it. Also, because you're not good at communicating with others, it's not gonna be an excuse to drag people. <sighs> Even I know that. Restrained by time and place, its code of life could only be considered an incomplete attempt. I managed to replicate the moment it was born. However, it would soon disappear and be reduced to particles. You made it multiple times? What do you mean? Like every living being, it inevitably faced its demise as it journeyed towards the end. I find no fault in that. However, even the briefest life should have meaning. I want to know the limits of its capacity. It will indicate how far I've gone in a field completely incomprehensible to me. So interesting that we have a character that is studying life and can create life to a degree, but also she she does it because she doesn't fully understand it herself. Very interesting. I I kind of I'm scared where Mihoyo plans to take this girl. She may become an, an eon. <laughs> And it was a minuscule step, just as I had predicted. It almost ate me! That's a great response! <laughs> I did say that if a danger proved too great for you, I would personally step in to confront it. You know, why didn't you deal with it in the first place? <sighs> I don't know. I must admit, I'm not fond of scenarios where everything aligns perfectly with my expectations. An experiment should have its unforeseen twists. And that's where the joy lies. Even the most predictable storylines can have their pleasant surprises. Huh. Mm-hmm. I have 
have to admit that these little ones born in the process <laughs> sometimes move me. Yeah. Look at them! You made them. Look at I see a human-like response in them. It is a concept completely opposite to that of divinity. They have emotions. It's a dog? It has a tail? Yeah, that thing apparently is a dog. I didn't realize that. So that's a dog and that's a cat? Yeah. Okay. Emotions may be either positive or negative. However, the love rooted in the depths of their heart is eternal and unchanging. Look at that. Look at that art. That's so nice. I'm staring into its big starry eyes. <laughs> They're still a long way from becoming geniuses and are therefore unable to discern whether this love is one of friendship, romance, or familial love. That being said, can even geniuses tell the difference? I cannot, at least. I do not understand what love is, and cannot respond to their feelings. Ah, so you abandoned them in the basement. <laughs> Poor dudes. Like any great parent. <laughs> you know, lock them in the basement, throw away the key. Sure. Don't do that! <laughs> Don't do that. That is that is the that is the call sign of a of a scummy parent. Do you believe my actions were wrong? Yes. You I would them. say yes. Yeah. There's no need to tell me your answer. I just oh, I would love to. Felt like asking the question. I feel like answering. How should I take care of them? I don't know. Perhaps leaving Not them at the them. space station is the best choice. Yes, actually, we will care for them. People here seem to love them. I uh, yes. Seem responsible. Yes. I'm sorry. I am often at a loss as to how to face my own creations. Then don't make them, maybe. I don't know. That's that's a pretty solid response from Daniel, yeah. The effects of the anti-truth serum will also wear off. If others mention me to you in the future, you can answer however you like. Or even pretend you never knew me. Hmm. After all, your memory of me will soon dissipate like you. Smoke. Dissipate? Mm. Memory? What? Huh? You're wiping our memory. Over time, hidden truths tend to surface. Past traumas, which I'd rather leave behind, have made me skeptical about trusting anyone but myself. Ah, uh, dang. You're just erasing my memory? If I do not want a secret revealed, the most foolproof way is to destroy it. The anti-truth serum will make you forget the brief period we spent together. What would have happened if we never ate that? I don't know. It won't take effect immediately. It is a slow, intangible process. Like the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossom, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. I don't like you. Perhaps you'll remember someone performed selfish experiments on the space station, but you'll no longer remember their identity. Perhaps we'll meet again someday, but you won't be able to connect me with the recollection. I'm assuming if we turned down the cake, she probably would just give it to you anyway. It'd be like, I insist, because the storyline is written to go with that. Or maybe it just changes that much. I, that's intriguing. In that way, the connection between life forms will be erased. Friendships, secrets, grudges, lies, all will disappear. We meet again, I'm sure I won't like you all over again. It will make our lives more relaxing. That's not how it works. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm not gonna forget you. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a vlog to myself. Vlog. I believe you. Okay. Screwlem will stay on the space station for a while longer. He and Herta still have problems they need to solve. As for me. I'm leaving soon, and won't bother with goodbyes. So you just made a big mess and now you're leaving? Apparently. Do you still remember the no man's land I mentioned? I'm considering a solo trip back there during my research downtime. Just to see how things are. I miss member number 55 Yu Ching too sometimes. She used to always make something delicious for me to drink every time we parted ways. Oh. Hmm. I hope I won't meet member number 4 Polka Kakamond. <coughs> That would be quite God troublesome. You. Who knows when the next gathering of geniuses will be? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? What are our options? 
Do you trust? You know, that's actually really interesting. Yeah, trust me now. That or visit your creations. Both are great questions. You can only pick one, though. Which one do you think? Uh, you do whatever you want. I like both. Mm -hmm. Okay, go with it. I promise I will, Mr. Assistant. Poor girl, man. You just need to realize the value of life. Because you've made a bunch of cute things that really look up to you. You can't just have... You can't just be void of emotion to them. And Alex, she understands life. That's the, I think, yeah, that's the big I thing. I understand love. I, I think there's really cool story potential of Ron May if Mihoyo decides to follow this through and go with this. Because Ron May could have a really cool, like, character development story. Mm hmm Because as she is now, how can she hope to understand life if she doesn't even understand love? You know, that probably will be the secret to her if she does become, like, an, uh, a neon. She'll probably have to figure that part out. That'd be interesting. If fate allows and you're interested, upon our next meeting, we could journey to no man's land Ooh. and traverse its tranquil glaciers. Yo, snowy planet. Mm. That's not your relo? I suppose it wouldn't be no man's land anymore. What a conundrum. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, what does that say? I couldn't read it fast enough. It's just the babies. <laughs> Smile. Huh? There you go. Put pet them. Pet them. Are those ones at least joining you on your journeys? Maybe. Well, there we go. Wow. Boom. She can now show up on the express. Oh, as long as she doesn't experiment with pom pom, we'll be fine. Do we have a, uh, and then, ooh, the event. Do we have any text messages from her? Yeah, snack life. That's an amazing. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Asta has something for us. So is this just a go to the place? Ah, this. That is a, an amazing sticker. That's great. It looks like a little hat. Uh, Dash, I need your help with something. Context? Context? Needs, uh, needs spe uh, specifics. What's the context? Madam Ron May created some interesting little critters on the space station. I accommodated them temporarily in the seclusion zone. And now I would like you to nurture these little ones. Why me? Uh, why you? Because they're amazing. Among the people I know, you showed as the best match. Also, these things Madam uh, Ron May left behind is kind of related to you. With Mr. Skrillum's help, I upgraded the robot programs. The helper robot will assist you the entire way, of course. I will keep an eye on you for now. Uh, you got this. And that is the event started, and we will do that sometime. We'll do that very, soon. very soon. Um, but yeah, probably right now, guys, we're going to leave it there. I really like Ron May's quest. She, a lot of people seem to be uh, very hesitant to trust her. And I think that is correct because right now she is someone who is creating life that does not know the value of it or understand it, which I don't like her is well, you, to be expected. You just got drugged by her. But I think it's so interesting, like we were saying, to have have such a conflicting theme. And I really hope the Star Rail team continues touching on Ron May's story going into the future. I hope we get like another continuance quest that tackles that and probably going it. to the no man's land that would be really cool i think there's a lot of potential there for a really interesting quest so or a few quests probably so yeah i'm excited to see where that ha where that goes and what happens do you think we'll actually see an aeon or a neon get birth i hope not <laughs> i i hope it's not her danger <sighs> okay well i guess with that deal have any final thoughts uh the animals are cute. I like the cat and the dog bun thing. Dude, I cannot wait to see what the event is going to be like. Mm. I want to see all the uh, little characters and what they uh, and all the references in them. Yes. That's going to be adorable. Okay. We make a lot of cats. Do we make any of the uh, the dogs? The I dog have no idea. No idea. I know about the cats, but I don't know about dogs. So they only really showed off the cats. Even in the uh, little thing there with, yeah, uh, with I, uh, Don Hong there's, March. There's one us. dog, but it's right there. It's clear that the um, the cats are the favorite critter. 
Mm -hmm. Considering that one is a snack bag and the other is a gelatin thing. Complete it all to get the bubbly thing. thing. Oh, that looks so cool. And that's a permanent reward. That's Let's nice. go! So limited time rewards are limited just time rewards stellar is jade. Just the normal stuff. The stellar jade. You get a lot of jade. Okay. It's a lot of jade in it. You get a uh, trail thing. Even though if you play this game at all, you're going to have a, a crap ton of those things. Yes. Yeah. Especially if you're doing simulated universe every week. Mm -hmm. uh, but with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where we're leaving it off. I'm sadly fighting a cold, so I'm going to go get some sleeps. Uh, sleeps? Sleeps. I'm going to get some sleeps. And uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we love you all. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.